What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Zvonimir's debut against Georgia. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Kentucky entered their fifth conference game with only one loss, which was against Texas A&M in overtime. They bounced back and beat Mississippi State in a blowout and avoided a two-game losing streak. They entered the game against Georgia with the best news they've gotten all season. Their seven for the Zavarmere was cleared by the NCAA and was allowed to play for Kentucky finally. Coach Cal wasted no time giving the fans what they wanted. Zavarmere played 16 minutes this game. Most people thought he was going to be rusty. Some thought he would be out of shape, but nobody expected him to have a great debut like he did. He was going off as soon as he got on the court. He was making an impact on defense and offense. He was blocking shots, grabbing rebounds, and on offense, he looked like one of the best three-point shooters on the team. He was knocking down shots from three in the first half with ease. He was even out there getting crafty, making behind-the-back passes to teammates. He finished the game with 13 points, five rebounds, three blocks, and two assists. So he had a great college basketball debut. I didn't expect it to be this good, and I didn't expect him to play that many minutes. If he's coming off the bench and giving production like this, Kentucky has to be the heavy favorites to win the NCAA championship. Kentucky Kentucky's bench has gotten even deeper now that they have Zvonimir. The bench already has a lot of talent, so Coach Kyle's going to have to see how he's going to break up the minutes moving forward. I hope he plays Aaron Bradshaw and Zvonimir at the same time a lot. That lineup could give opposing teams big problems because they both can space the floor and they can knock down shots from the perimeter. A few players play well against Georgia. First, let's talk about Antonio Reeves, who is looking like one of the best scorers in college basketball right now. He now has three straight games, scoring 20-plus points. He dropped 21 points against Georgia, and he was 2 for 4 from 3. Ever since he only dropped 9 points against UNC on December 16th, he has been on fire ever since. Kentucky will keep needing to score the ball like he is during conference play. He's our most reliable scorer right now. DJ Wagner got his first double-double of the season. He had 18 points and 10 assists. He's another player who's playing at a high level right now. He struggled in the beginning of the season, but he has been playing like one of the best point guards in the country these last few weeks. DJ Wagner's doing a great job running the offense and making sure everyone's involved and getting the ball. He can go from being a pass first point guard to a score first point guard. Y'all feel what I'm saying, plugins? I feel like he's not getting the credit he deserves since Robert Dillingham and Reese Shepard are playing so well coming off the bench, but DJ Wagner's a key piece of this team and he gets the offense going. Trey Mitchell dropped 23 points and he didn't miss often this game. He was 8 for 10 from the field. These last two games he has been playing good and he's getting his confidence back. The game against Texas A&M, he struggled shooting the ball. He was 3 for 13. So it's good seeing Trey Mitchell getting back on track. He's one of the glue guys for this team. Reese Shever was making it rain from three. He was four for five, and he's ranked as one of the top three-point shooters in the country, and he's shooting 55% from the field. Also, he ranks as one of the best players in the country when it comes to getting steals. Kentucky having a player like that coming off the bench is crazy, plugins. The way Reese Shepard's stats be looking, you would think he's a starter. Kentucky's looking good right now. The next game is against South Carolina. After that, they have to play Florida again and Tennessee. Kentucky could get their second conference loss. That's a tough two-game stretch after that South Carolina game. That Tennessee game is going to be tough. So that's a key game you should definitely watch. Kentucky's offense is going to carry them to a lot of big wins down the stretch. They're ranked first in points, averaging 90.8 points per game. They have scored 90 points in four straight games. They're averaging 10.1 threes per game, which is ranked 15th in the country. Their fast-paced offense is averaging 15.3 seconds per possession, which ranks 18th in the country. Kentucky's defense ranks in the bottom of most categories, but their offense is so good they can make up for that. They just need to play with effort and be more consistent on defense, and they should be fine. How do y'all feel about Zavadimir's debut? Do y'all think he's going to be one of the best players on the team? How good will Kentucky be these next three games drop your opinions in the comments drop a like on the video and sub to the channel turn on post notifications so you know when i post more videos on the way i appreciate y'all and i see you in the next video till next time